As much as I would like to go back in my hole and play Xenoblade Chronicles 2, something happened to me last night that I, I guess I should talk about. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to play and record at the same time. One second, I'm cold. I'll put a jacket on. I feel like I'm born again. Is that just me? <sighs> okay, <laughs> I'm good now. So uh, this morning, someone attempted to rob me, uh, rob my car. And I guess anything that was in the car, essentially, because that's how it goes if they take your car. Now, because of the nature of this video, I'm not going to edit it too much just because this is very serious. And I feel like if I do a lot of editing, it kind of takes away from the seriously, ser seriously, the severity of the situation, essentially. For the most part, this is going to be a very quiet video, which is fine, right? You guys can just hear me talk. Now, it was 3 a.m. Uh, what was I doing at 3 a.m.? I was awake, not sleepy at all. I was hungry. This happens a lot to where I'm hungry and I want to go get some food. I have a car, so I have the freedom to go whenever I want to go get food. So long story short, Jack in the Box, Carl's Jr. and McDonald's were the only places open amongst that time where I was hungry. And I thought, you know what? I want to make chicken. It was 3 o'clock and they still serve regular, regular food until 4. So I said, let me hurry up and go down there. You know, I zoom, zoom, you know, running and shit. I wasn't running. I was driving. But I got there to the window where you order food and I'm just like, hello, how you doing, ma'am? this thing on um can i get hello you there it took a while before i realized nobody was there and the first thing i thought about was i think they're all in there having an orgy why was it an orgy was my thought of of uh, origin there i don't know i just felt like uh, world star hip-hop has trained my brain to think that if someone at a fast food place at like wee hours in the morning isn't there they're they're fucking while thinking that there was an orgy taking place in the mcdonald's i also had this instinctive feeling to leave and that feeling was very overwhelming because it was just me in that area when normally i see other cars around the mcdonald's but um this time it was no other cars it was just it was just me anyways listen to my gut feeling because it is normally right nine times out of ten and i drove around um i see a guy in the front of the McDonald's and he wanted a ride. He asked me, hey, can I, can you give me a ride home? This and that. I told him I'm not Uber, have my window down still because I just tried to order food. And he said, I'll pay you $35. At that point, I was already trying to go into the main street um, from that little parking co lot community area. I don't know what you call that. And uh, while I was waiting to turn, uh, he started running for my car and said, give me your fucking car and attempted to try to get it. Now, that first attempt was very weak. Keep in mind, I said first attempt. Even though it wasn't a word to me at the time, the best thing to do after that was to go straight home. Like someone tried to take my car, whether it was a strong attempt or a weak attempt, that was a sign that it wasn't my night, you know? But I was hungry and I was listening to to my stomach and not my brain and I was driving around a little bit trying to figure out where can I eat amongst driving around it dawned on me that nobody was responding to me at the McDonald's and then you had this aggressive guy in the front of the McDonald's like just just two things that just don't really uh fit so I was thinking to myself what if they're in danger you know while my window was down a little bit I was trying to see if I heard police sirens at all like if anybody was coming to that area but I didn't hear any. So I'm thinking to myself, like, worst case scenario, what if they're in a predicament to where they can't call for help and they're just stuck there from this guy who was, like, terrorizing them in any retrospect that I don't know besides my imagination thinking about how bad it could be, though, you know? So I drove back over there because I watched a lot of anime and I thought maybe it's my time to be a main character. Now, I know normally in movies the black guy dies first, so the odds of me living was a little bit low, but I wanted to try to see if I could help, though, you know? Now, because I knew that guy was in that little co uh, co community lot, whatever the fuck, I didn't drive too too close but I drove um, on the opposite lane to at least see if anybody was inside the McDonald's now this wasn't my first rodeo to go into the McDonald's uh, early this morning late at night whatever I've taken note that there's always at least three to four people like in view when you drive past like always that's just how it works but this time I saw nobody in there it looked deserted the lights were still on and everything but nobody was there now I drive a little bit closer not so close to where I'm in there and so that guy could like do something to me but close enough to see that there was damage done to the drive-in window to where you pick up the food like like someone like banged on it or done something to it to see that it was a little bit like slanted like it was pushed in a little bit but not fully in like it looked like he could have gone in to the McDonald's from that little window from the little push in indention but I couldn't tell so so what I then did is I tried to take a picture with the, my Parkinson self of uh, the situation and if you note on the top left hand corner that is the window and I was able to see while zooming in that it is a little bit fucked up looking um it's not the greatest of pictures now I know at this point you're thinking afro I hope you call the cops this is the time when you call the cops now listen I did call the cops but not yet it took a while for me to do that which was stupid to do because if they were in danger what the fuck am I going to do by just driving around that wasn't smart but you gotta understand that I came from a very uh bad area 
uh, where you call the cops, you could have something happen to you. You know, you don't call the cops on people. That's not the first thing you do. That's not, that's not the trigger finger you want to have your, your finger on, essentially, right? So because of that mindset, that mentality that was engraved in my head from that area, I was taking it into my own hands um, a little bit too much. I talked to some of my friends that I knew were up at that time because they work and they, you know, they just got home or they were still working to kind of see what they would do because they also lived in the hood area and they had, we had the same mindset of a sort of involving cops to mind your own business. You get me? So I was kind of like having a little bit of a, of a conference, like, yo, like I'm seeing some wild shit. I don't live in the hood over here, but do you think I should get the popo involved? Just like, yeah, dog, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, you're right. You're right, you're absolutely right. I wasn't thinking like an adult. Called the cops immediately. They woke me up. I realized that this is what I gotta do because what the fuck am I gonna do? Like, I can't do Kamehameha's or any anime techniques IRL besides just, you know, have that mentality of a main character without the action. And that's just not, it's not good. So I called the cops and amongst calling the cops, I was in the vicinity kind of just getting the address and giving them the directions of how to get to where this was, right? Now, this is when it kind of uh, kicked in to where I was in danger. Uh, I was driving real slow, getting a little bit bold, driving really close to McDonald's. Now, in my blind spot, while I was on the phone with the cops, and while I was describing um, what the guy looked like, I see the guy on my blind spot. I see him um, just kind of like walking towards me. And he was kind of close, but because he was in a situation where I couldn't get the depth of how close he was to me, I didn't really move too fast. I was still driving at a really slow snail pace. Then I noticed he ran at me, like he ran to take my car and I couldn't really see if he was reaching for anything at that current point in time. I just knew he was close because when I looked to the side of me, I saw his forehead on the driver's side of the window and the window was still open. So we could have very easily grabbed the inside and like done whatever the fuck. I don't know what he could have done, like try to hold on, who knows. But I took off, I, I had my uh, foot all the way down the gas. Once I drove up a little bit though, I saw in the rear view mirror of him reaching in his pant, like the, the front bit of your pants, the where it insinuates that you have a gun while coming to the front of my driver's side. He had the Joe Button run. It was uh not really intimidating, Um, honestly, the presentation that he had coming at me, but it was a little bit nerve wracking knowing that this man was like trying to make an attempt again for my car and this time very close. Whether it was my car or my life this time, who knows, but there was an aggressive attempt this time and I, I don't know, man. It just it just rubbed me the wrong way. After that solid attempt to take my car, I think I was done for the night. You know, I didn't have any more anime main character in me, so I just went home. But amongst all that, there is one thing I am curious about, and I guess I could find out for myself what really did happen. So before I guess we end this video, I really just kind of want to check to see if everything was okay myself, because the McDonald's doesn't really go anywhere, so uh, why not ask? after while I get a coffee or something like that, if uh, everything was fine, just so we can kind of have clarity uh, to see what really happened if what I assume that happened didn't happen. Like what if what if they were actually inside having that orgy I mentioned, you know what I'm saying? That's a lady on the side. Girl, back up. All right, as I'm driving here right now, I don't see anything like too inherently wrong with McDonald's. I mean, regular deck the day, which I guess is to be expected. Um, I guess I'll ask at the window. Um, yes, may I have a uh, large strawberry banana smoothie? Yeah, I got a smoothie. Get the fuck off. So I thought coffee, but then I saw food and I saw that shake looking like a snack. So what am I supposed to do, bro? I'm a victim. Hi. Hello. I'm going to have a question. Uh, last night I came here. It seemed like there was like a guy causing problems or anything like that. Was everything like all right or? I have no idea. You have no? Okay. Probably, probably, you know how much with that nighttime. Really? Yeah, they probably did, but I know they they always figure it out. Gotcha. Thank you for that, though. Yeah, yeah. Slide in your DMs like, okay, that, that wasn't a smooth slide. That's about it, though. I mean, I don't know. I guess they're all right. I, I just, I don't understand. But, you know, all I do know is I'm fine. The window looked a little bit jacked up, but they were fine. And, and we're all fine, you know, hunky dory. Let me know down below if you had any stories where you were robbed and shit like that or any attempts, and I will read them. And I am interested to see how that is for you, how you've been through it. You know what I'm saying? All, 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 all of it. You know, but I'm good. Um, granted, I don't know in hindsight if this is a smart video to make, but I don't think my videos get out to many people to that degree. So if this guy so happens to see it and I'm going to be in like a home alone situation where I got to fend for my life because my dog ain't shit and he's going to come and break in, you know what I'm saying? I'll stream it, you know, all for the clout, all for the culture. This is, <laughs> is it bad that the first thing I thought about when this happened was fuck, I got a good story to talk about.